We are returning to the Dutch second league. And please, this time I don't want to get kicked out. For now, you're not allowed to get back in. We are in fact watching FC Emmen versus Groningen. And we have some great history with the away side. I watched Groningen's quarterfinal versus Fortuna where they won on penalties. And after the game, we had an incredible surprise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got given Valente's match one shirt as he's a Lazio fan and enjoys the content. For the table, it's huge and I'm always looking out to see how the club do. We're in the home section today, so I have no idea what to expect. A stadium capacity of 8,600, small, cosy, and I should also have a great seat to watch the match. I am on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so if you are new, please subscribe. I am buzzing for this game as it's a very unique experience and one last little time before we watch Grundigan, let the away side remember 1000 likes on this video that would be greatly appreciated right then folks i am in zwolle right now i've just watched peck zwolle versus ix and peck zwolle did just lose 3-1 wasn't ideal but look how beautiful this city is zwolle it's just about to approach 5 p.m in the afternoon the sun's out beautiful weather but it's time to get to the second game if you watch my zwolle video then you only just saw it in the dark but now that we're walking around in the light it looks unreal this place it's also easter day so everywhere around is just silent everywhere's shut i don't know where to get the food i'm just lost for words for this place and I say it every single video. Every single video, I always say the same stuff, but I just mean it every single time as well. I'm always mesmerized. And especially in the sun, it makes it look even more better than it already is. Honestly, I'm just always impressed. It is all just so peaceful. So peaceful around here. Maybe I've got to start my own like tourism vlogging channel because I reckon I could do a good job at that. I should just quit the football, shouldn't I? Right, then we've made it back to the station. One hour on the train, not complaining. Right then, folks, we have made it to Emin. We're here. We've made it. And I'll tell you one thing, this place looks dead. This is dead. No one is about and everything just looks shut. But it's Easter, so I'm not surprised. Ah, uh, this area looks a little bit more cool. Please tell me this subway's open. If this subway's open, I'm going to be... Oh, come on. Just for context, the one in Zwolle was closed and I was fuming. Get in my belly. Now, that was just exactly what I needed. But 14 euros. Didn't help my bank account, let's put it that way. Well, this is quite a wacky place, isn't it? This is a bit different. Architecture looking good, nice one. I've only just clocked, this is actually where I'm staying tonight. I'm talking about nice architecture and I'm actually staying in it. It's a bit weird though, I'm not gonna lie. And here we are then, all checked in. This will do for the night. That'll do me, a bed to sleep in. That's all I need. Oh my God, good morning, everyone. Well, this weather is just not ideal, is it? It's horrible. I just have no idea where to go. And what the flip, fusion. I forgot I own this restaurant. I forgot I'd done that. Silly me. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I think the best thing for me to do is just sit in this cafe. Right, then I've escaped that cafe. It was actually unbelievable. And that was probably the first time I've ever really been healthy this year because you normally go to all these different countries, cities, and you go for the standard like McDonald's and all that, but finding a local cafe and having a granola bowl. My word, when do I ever have that? I don't. And look at this then. We're here. It's so far away from the actual city centre, I must say. I'll tell you what, it doesn't look too bad for a second division stadium. And they are some naughty looking floodlights. Very, very naughty. It all seems very dead though. Like, is anyone actually here? It's like under two hours till kickoff. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really realise that this is actually quite a local fixture, a potential rivalry as well. I just really hope that this weather clears up more than anything because I don't really have a specific seat. I'll be walking around the stadium and just on the side of the pitch. Right then folks, a bit of a change of our location. I've got my bib on, I'm actually going pitch side in a minute. Artificial pitch, but here is the stadium. It's quite a tidy second division club stadium. It's not too bad if I'm honest. That is a nice classic floodlight, I'll tell you that. When you talk about character, that is the one. I like it. Here we go. And here we are then. We are pitch side. Now I'm gonna be honest, I've asked a few people and they've said it's not too much of a massive rivalry. Obviously, there's a little bit of tension between the both sides. You've got a dugout here, FC Emmen. Aren't they just fat nets? They are big. It's a sellout here, and I think it's going to be a really good atmosphere for the away fans, home fans in the corner as well. They've got their own little corners going on here for the ultras. Look at that, look at that. I'm waiting for the contract, to be honest, Groningen. I'm waiting for it. There's the lad, Luciano. Hopefully he scores today, I'm not going to lie. Emin have been great giving me all the access, but I do want him to score, I'm not going to lie. Right then folks, put in the comments down below, what do you rate this stadium out of 10? Bearing in mind it's the second division, and by the way, both teams need to win. Groningen need it to get automatic promotion, but Emin need it 
for the promotion qualification. That's the teams all warmed up. The stage is set. Now hopefully a great encounter. I hope so. The match ball just there. We're just waiting for the players to come out of the tunnel and then the match will begin. This is so sick. The access we have here is mental. Luciano, I'm, I'm begging you score my friend. And the Groningen fans in the corner over here. I think Groningen will just do it. And there's fireworks as well. Okay. Oh, will flip it, innit? I don't think I expected any fireworks here. I'm not going to lie. No, I didn't expect that. But here we go and the stage is set. Come on the boys. All we want is a good game. I'll tell you what, this pre-match presentation. Not bad, is it? A bit different. Flip it, Nick. Oh, Now let's just hope for a good game. Bound to begin. I want goals in this. I want goals. The ultras are already in fine voices. And we are underway here. Here we go. Got to give these guys credit. They're creating some noise up there. Second division of Dutch football is so underrated, by the way. There's so many teams. Look, even the away fans down from the other side again. It's so clearly allowed. Stand up if you love Emblem. And everyone is, to be fair, everyone is standing. I'll tell you what, Groningen fans are so loud, considering I can hear them from here. Luciano puts it in there. Oh, it was a good run and opportunity. You've even got the Groningen fans jumping around now. To be fair, when I went to their stadium for the quarter final of the cup, they were very loud, very good fans. Luciano, oh, just. He thinks. Oh, he nearly had it there. He's playing well, to be fair. What have we got here then? There you go. There it is. 1 0 to Groningen. Really good ball in. It's a really good ball in and a good header. And the away side are 1 0 up. There is the first goal of the game and it comes for the away side. Really good ball, good header, 1 0. And in all fairness, it has all been the away side. What's going on here? He's taking his top off. They've got their hands up. joining him with a chant, aren't they? Considering it's the whole stand as well, I've got to give him respect. It's fair play. This would be a Valencia assist. What a goal. What a goal that is. Flipping neck. That is some finish and a half, and it's 2-0. 2-0 already in 18 minutes. It's a really good ball through. I think it was Valente. Flipping it. That was a great ball. But the away side are so comfortable here. They are really showing why they could potentially get automatic promotion this season. I'll tell you what, though. There is one thing I've noticed about Netherlands and the away ends full stop. They are always tiny allocations. I, I don't understand why it is so small, but maybe it's because of trouble. I don't know. And that is half time and a break. If you're an Emmons supporter, then you won't be happy. But Groningen, you would be happy. Definitely the away side. They're so comfortable. It's been a good half from Luciano. He's got an assist. I'll tell you what atmosphere from both sides despite Em and losing they're really getting Groningen away fans superb tell you what this is the chance he needs to score this same if there was an opportunity for them to get back into the game it's that one it had to go in there tell you what the top's back on but the fans are still up for it really good fans to be fair here we go oh what is the goal <laughs> oh my god if it's if that's a goal and that's a Valencia assist again that is insane and that is definitely game over now. 3-0 to Groningen. They are absolutely running away with it. In the 62nd minute, they find a 3-0. Valente threads it through for the striker to poke on the end of it and puts it through the keeper or something like that. It's somehow finding its way, but it's another Valente assist. That's 2-0. It is, it is quite good, I'm not going to lie. It's a really good team performance once again from this side. They are a really good team, and I think they will get promoted this season automatically. Oh, this could be in. Oh, I'll be honest, I don't know how they haven't scored. I do find it fascinating that some of these teams actually chant in English sometimes. The time is ticking with four minutes to go. This game is pretty much done. Like, I think we all know that. Right, I think the fans here have had enough. Everyone's been so welcoming as well, so I cannot complain. I really appreciate it. And they find a consolation. Defended well first time. Oh, dearie me. And now uh, it's full time. It was Groningen all game. They've controlled the game really well and got the three goals to win and get the three points, which they much needed. Now we're going on a pitch, see what happens here. Fair play to them all. I think the last thing you want after a loss is just me recording you. That guy, by the way, a baller. So good. He is very energetic, a really good player. But I've got to be honest and say that it's been an absolutely wonderful time here. Players behind me, like, this is the access I've got. The reception I get from everyone from Netherlands, by the way, is incredible. Listen to this, by the way, the atmosphere here. God, you hear it really well when you're on the pitch. They've got some really good away fans, Groningen fans full stop, really good. A 
If only a ball's there for me to take a penalty, I'm sure I'd still miss. This is the scenes you want, though. The morale, everything. A team which wants promotion. Jesus Christ! Do you know what? This is insane. Imagine that after a win, like, that's incredible. You've even got Groningen fans in the home end as well. Look at this. Do you know what? Groningen's one which has really surprised me. They're a massive club. I guess it's a picture with the away fans. Why do I have no idea what's going on? I literally don't know. Right then, that completes the video. I've just spoken to Luciano. We had a picture actually. Whether we'll be sent that, I don't know because his dad actually took that photo because he's a Lazio fan as well. I wanted a picture of me and him. It's just fantastic. The whole community is absolutely brilliant and it was a really good experience once again. What was happening over there, the Grunigan fans as well, was insane. But nevertheless, I'll see you guys for another video. The Dutch tour continues and this one was just insane. Especially ending it the way we did, unbelievable. Come on to Grunigan because I'll tell you what, I want them to get promoted. See you later.